Alright, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to install my CB radio, the Cobra 19 Ultra 3. See, I got it out of the box there. In my Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. And uh, I'll kind of give you a rundown of how this is going to go before I get too carried away. I chose to mount mine for easy access for me and keep it out of the way of the passenger. Right beside the shifter right here, there's an open void right there. I can put it kind of at an angle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it actually to, there's a little nut right here. I'm going to build a little bracket that comes off and uh, just put it on there. It doesn't need to be too secure, but uh, either way, keep it from flopping around, and that way the wires, I can run them underneath here and uh, keep them out of sight. Uh, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to actually tie into the cigarette lighter that works only when the, uh, the Jeep is running. So that way I won't leave it on, leave the battery going, um, and run down my battery when I'm not in it. But uh, first things first, took off this little plate that runs right here. You see it in the passenger seat. All I use for this, I don't have a pry tool with me, but I have this little pick. Slide it in around the edges, it just pops straight off. There's four places that it pops off, one in each corner. You'll want to remove the top portion here. As you can see, it has it hooks on the front right along this bar. And it's got two clips, one on each corner back there. So take your little pry tool in the back corner, slip it in underneath, pull up gently. You don't want to scratch anything. And that will allow it to pop up, and then it should just come off altogether. Be cautious. There is some device underneath it that is uh, wired through. You don't want to just jerk it off because you could damage that. So just kind of slide this back, keep it out of the way. What we're going to do is we're going to remove a couple bolts here. There's one on this side, one on that side couple on the bottom what we're going to do is we're going to be able to loosen up this whole system here pull it out just a hair so we can reach the wiring to the cigarette lighter and basically splice in the hot for this and the negative so basically you'll be running it hardwired to the cigarette lighter all right and i'll get to that in just a moment all right everyone you can see i removed the uh four bolts like i said one was here there two on the bottom very easy to see it does have a few pins in the back along the sides that you'll need to gently pry off from the edges be careful not to scratch the edge. Uh, same thing with the other side. Try to pry them off in sequence. Working from your top down. Be gentle. This is very thin plastic. You can see it's flexing pretty good right there. And uh, once you have it, it'll allow it to come out three or four inches. Just enough where you can reach that cigarette lighter to splice it in. You got a black wire, you got a blue wire. Blue's hot, black is negative. As I do believe right now, but I'll double check that with a voltage meter. I recommend you do the same. All right, and I'm going to get down to it. All right, everyone, welcome back. What I've got here is a little just a light voltage meter here. What it does is it'll light up if you have a good connection. You can see there I'm pushing on the black wire right now, not nothing. When I get in here to the blue, you can see it lights up. So the blue wire is the hot wire. That's the one we're going to bring our power cable to. And then the negative, I prefer to run it to a ground, but that's just me. So... All right, now we're gonna splice right into this one and uh, that should be about as good as it's getting for wiring. All right, welcome back everybody. I've got got it spliced in there. They got the extra wire uh, zip tied to keep it up out of the way. You can see I've mounted the CB radio. All I did was I took out a screw just like this one and mounted the base to it. You can see there, no wires are exposed. Ran the wires up underneath this Sorry, this edge right here, up and back behind here, split the negative cable. You can see it's coming out. Ran it over here to the side. Got it spliced in right there. Plan on cleaning that up a little bit more. But uh, eventually going to have this wire run up behind here so you can't see it. And uh, that's about it so far. It, uh, it's working great, but uh, I'm going to finish up the job and I'll show you how it works.